afraid, be very afraid. Uh, Christina and Matthew, however, are taking us to The Guardian, which has this announcement of... Um, I don't, do we call it a defection? Because he's left Labour, but he's not technically joined the Tories. He's <laughs> cross-bencher. Mm, yes, defection is too strong a word, but it, mm. it has uh, lots of implications, and it certainly has strong implications for his judgment, well, the, the kind of new Labour view of Jeremy Corbyn, which yes. I don't think any of us had any doubts about. But Adonis, Lord Adonis, I think, was a very, very impressive man. He, well, had he a very, was their thinker, wasn't he? He was their yeah. thinker, he yeah. was, absolutely. He did the Academy's programme. He's someone who likes to get things done. And I can only imagine that, like many people on the right of the Labour Party, he is tempted to get himself a noose and has decided instead to, um, to help get stuff done on the, on the transport front with well and, and and infrastructure in general which is interesting because um you know the tories want to represent themselves as this, this party of workers mm. and george osborne's just got back from china which perhaps yeah. is i think this is such a canny political mm. move but political in two respects one he's got a leading blairite at a time where the blairites are under siege from the new leadership in <laughs> labor but also I think this is really smart in political terms because infrastructure projects are often held up for political machinations. Tories in marginals don't want to have it in their backyard, even He's in safe so conservative seats. Yeah. Yeah. And so actually having someone with legal power, only to make recommendations, mm. mind you, there'll still need to be a cabinet minister from the Conservative Party who acts upon them. I think that gives them more weight to actually do things in the public interest rather than banning it around on narrow party political mm. interest, if that makes I sense. Think, I think it's a very good idea. And yeah. it was George Osborne, I think it was Osborne, who came up with the Office of Budget Responsibility idea, wasn't it? And, and this is an equivalent, yeah. but for infrastructure. But here, I mean, there's yeah. the last yeah. paragraph there in the Guardian story is also quite telling. Adonis wrote a major report <laughs> for Labour in the last parliament on how to revive Britain's cities outside London, but frustrated the leadership was slow. So basically, it's, it's, have they done another sort of uh, pinching act, looking yeah. at what Labour... Yeah, it looks like it, looks like it. But I don't think... I, he's not a tribal creature, um, Andrew Adonis, and I think he just wants to get things done. He's a public right. servant. I think he has a very strong ethos of public service, and, and he realises that Labour is extremely unlikely to be elected in the near future. And, um, and former this member of the be... SDP as well. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, right. yes. But I think it's also interesting, sort of in political terms, that when Corbyn came in, a lot of people in the Conservative Party were saying, this guy's unelectable, why don't we go to the right and do all the things that we've always wanted to do, cut the taxes even further, free more markets. And Cameron and Osborne, I think, are saying, you know what, we're staying right in the mm. centre ground, let's have a big tent approach, mm -hmm. bring some Blairites in if we possibly can. This isn't quite a defection, is it? No. But it's still significant. Yes, he's, it is, he's, significant. is he not losing the Labour whip? He's, he's withdrawing yes, the so Labour Yes, yeah, he's, he's yeah, so he's whip, technically yeah. left that's the big, Labour Party, but I think that yeah. he'll be a cross-bencher yeah, right. Exactly. So, yeah. um, but let's just fast forward because in the Telegraph you've also spotted uh, this uh, from Osborne. I'll shake Britain out of inertia, uh, which is the the sort of political drive behind it. And one mm. does wonder if this is as a result of what he saw in China. Although, of course, there is a complete different mindset there that the <laughs> Communist Party <laughs> says to do say the least and people <laughs> yeah, do exactly. it. Uh, well, well, can yes. you achieve that in dear old Britain, one wonders? Uh, it's uh, slightly <laughs> unlikely to be so straightforward, but I think there is, I think particularly when it comes to things like house, every, everyone knows that we need to build many, many more houses, assuming they don't all get snapped up by the Chinese, which a lot of them are, particularly in London. Um, and then you have big problems with, with planning permission mm. and, um, and, and green belt and brown yeah. belt and so on. So <clears throat> I suppose this is about breaking some of those uh, deadlocks there. Yeah, although, I mean, f th there are obviously serious questions, serious issues on some of those projects, like HS2. Mm. Oh, absolutely. About, you know, the, the, the core planning at the heart of it. Yeah, you want some democratic check to the central government when it comes to big infrastructure projects. You want consultation, you want to tease out the implications. Yeah. Mm. But it's far too slow in this country. Mm. It gets knocked into the long grass, the consultations take forever, and all the potential benefits are mitigated by the huge delays. So I think that we don't want so to go the all the way to China. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to yeah. go sort of totalitarian mm. route, but we want yeah. to move <laughs> slightly further in that direction. Well, I mean, the, the example, of course, was the French when they built yes. the TGV high-speed network. They just used compulsory purchase, so the yes. tracks just went straight across the farmland, no argument. And, and I think, Osborne, I think often in second terms, politicians want to get things done yes. more and more and yes. more. And I think you're absolutely right. China 
China, he's probably heard about the French example. The other thing that Osborne's after here, by the way, in, in my opinion, is he's brandishing his prime ministerial Ah, well, he he exactly is. my next he question. Is. Yeah. Um, is this the idea that basically he tries to um, get a, a, a sort of identity for the future Tory direction. Absolutely. What do they want Britain to be? What do they want it to look like? Absolutely. Well, he's been being groomed as the, the successor for a long time, and the Caesar haircut and the 5-2 diet and the elocution lessons to sound a bit more estuary, all of this has been... Has he had elocution? Oh, he yes. Had, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. apparently, allegedly, allegedly. Um, his voice has definitely changed, is all I'll say. But, um, yeah, no... Margaret Thatcher, of course. Exactly, well, yeah, but, exactly. Yeah. He definitely uh, moves in that direction. Um, right. But you could argue that it, you know, maybe you shouldn't make make it too evident at this point. Meanwhile, it, don't you think it's odd though? If, if, just rewind a little bit, mm. two or three years, and he, I remember he get, went to some public event, and he was there. The what, it, it, yeah, was it the Olympics? The Olympics it might have been. So 2000. Oh, and, and the yeah. Histon and Boone. Boone. And yeah. Boris Johnson was way. Yeah, into and I think that the... was that the legacy of the pasty tax. Yes, um, and all yes. Of it, yeah. Yeah. The, the, that yeah. sort of dreadful budget. The, the budget that yes. really did fit. I mean, yes. he's acknowledged that was a low point. Yes. So. However, some things don't change as the Metro uh, reports, and that is spitting hatred as Yobbs ambushed Tory conference, um, and uh, the helpful egg on face of one. Um, Tory supporter there with a helpful um, protester <laughs> alongside, I don't know. Um, I mean, this is got good old-fashioned British politics, isn't there, it? There was a very good tweet, which, um, which I retweeted, which was something like, I was going to vote Conservative, but then I, I saw a screaming guy in a, in a Guy Fawkes mask, and, that, and, um, and obviously I changed my mind. I mean, as if this puts people off. If, can you imagine? You, you, pelt, you spit on journalists, always an attractive trait. You, you pelt them with eggs, and somehow this is sophisticated political argument, and the new kind of politics as put forward by Jeremy Corbyn, I think. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've got some photos, uh, some pictures that we took of the march today. I mean, the, the estimates have been 60,000. The Metro, they're quoting 85,000. I mean, I have to say the pictures that we filmed don't show maybe that sort of and the numbers. Yeah. Well, uh, not just that, but the police have said that it was very largely peaceful. Mm. Yeah. And that, really, the... and, and, and kind of people into their politics. Only one or two threw eggs and, and mm. spat at journalists. But, of course, that gets picked up. I do think that this was done in the generally in the right spirit I, as, I, as, as I, a protest. I think that was probably true. But when you look at the placards, it was kind of everything you didn't like in your life you had a placard for. It was a bit like Corbyn's uh, conference speech. You know, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like Yeah, and what are you for exactly? Yeah. yeah, and of course, Jeremy Corbyn due in Manchester tomorrow which breaks this sort of uh, convention, if you like, that you don't go on to yeah. another party's home turf for their, their conference, and he'll be on a march. Again, the politics of protest. And I, do you know what, though? I think that there is a genuine problem for Cameron with this cut to working families tax oh, credit. Oh, definitely. This, I think, could no, turn out dreadful. to be a major political gamble because it's the, the whole ethos of the Conservative second term is meant to be in favour of hard-working mm. families. Yes, yes, yes. But actually, these are hard-working families Absolutely. on very low wages. It could be disadvantaged to the extent yeah. of 1,500 years. The, the Institute for Fiscal Studies have said it is... Cameron, I thought, was very mealy-mouthed this morning on, mm. on the, the BBC on The Marsh Show, mm. yeah. when he said, oh, yeah, but if you're on the minimum wage and you have this number of families, then you'll be better off with our reforms. The vast majority are going to be worse off. And the fiscal no, I, I, studies I, I have said mm. arithmetically impossible... And the interesting but, point politically is that's been picked up by David Willits, who is one of the Tory yes. party. Yes, he's now he's, the, he's, the, he's the Adonis of the yeah, Tories. Exactly. Yes. The yes. And, and he's made yes. this point that it's politically naive yes. Yes. not to, to really acknowledge the, the, the difficulties that this could cause to yes. many families. Yes, yeah, absolutely yeah. right. I think I, I think it's surprising that they haven't backed down in that. But I suppose I suppose that they can't be constantly backing down. But I think it's it's not just personally. I think it's not just a political mistake. I think it's wrong. I think it's really really wrong to punish hardworking families in that way. I can't I, believe I, I use the word hardworking. Yeah, working that's families. such a slogan. <laughs> but in the long term, in the long term taking from taxpayers and giving to other taxpayers through tax credits is not the way to raise no, wages. Isn't. You've got to raise productivity yeah. and economic it growth. And, pro and productivity is actually slightly, it's slightly up. But, uh, and, and the living wage, you see, again, it's very tip tough because the living wage, or the so-called living wage, will, will help matters, but it won't help immediately. But on the other hand, small businesses are saying they're not going yeah. to be able to manage it's, the it's living wage. It's just a wage, redistribution so. from profits to wages. What you want is to grow the whole cake through productivity and growth. Oh. 
However, Christina <laughs> Matthew, <laughs> it's a mayor culpa, is it? I don't know. Uh, who are going to reflect on, uh, well, we shouldn't call it a defection as such, but it is a major coup for George Osborne because Lord Adonis was Labour or New Labour's main thinker, policy chief for Tony Blair. It's a canny ah. political move, this from Osborne, because as you say, Adonis, a leading Blairite intellectual policy wonk. Mm -hmm. And by doing this, he's opening the door, I think, to future Blairites, disillusion potentially with Corbyn, and he's showing that he's into big tent politics. So I think in narrow political terms, quite a savvy move from Osborne, but also in um, national interest terms, it's a good move because infrastructure projects often get caught up in special yeah, pleading yeah. and interest groups, yes. NIMBYism. And short-termism. Short-termism. Mm. And actually having someone independent to say we need to have this, you know, this rail link, this road, this dual carriageway in the public interest, it's only going to be able to recommend this to the Cabinet. All right. I think hopefully, if these recommendations are taken on board, we'll actually get some throughput with vitally needed infrastructure. Yeah. And does it indicate that the, the big tent politics are going to be in the centre ground of politics? Well, I think... I think everyone in this country, apart from all those people who've recently voted for Jeremy Corbyn, knows that elections are always won on the centre ground. And the, the people on the right of the Tory party have been trying to inch... Uh, Cameron and Osborne to the right, they are to the right on certain issues, but generally speaking they're pretty centre in, in terms of the Tory party, are failing because canny politicians know that that's where elections are won and that's what Tony Blair did for the Labour Party. He massively wrested it to the centre ground, which is what enabled him to win three elections. Yeah. But, um, this, it, it looks as though, unfortunately, many people on the left Un unable to acknowledge that and uh, therefore we are left without serious opposition at the moment which is pretty serious. Do, does it though also mean that uh, those who then will object to the green belt being built on, HS2 uh, saying that you know these are infrastructure projects that really need to be looked again uh, and are going to lose out the argument because the government concerned, well, we've got this independent body and they have recommended this course of action and we're going to go with that. They will lose that, but, but, you know, Adonis will still consult. The problem in the past is that if it was in the narrow electoral interest of the Conservatives yeah. not to put a road through some marginal Tory seats or through some... Or a third shires, runway at Heathrow then Airport. It, yeah, then yeah. it would be completely scuppered. At mm. least now the consultation is going to be taken on board in terms of the cost-benefit analysis mm. of the infrastructure exactly. rather than electoral terms. That's got to be a exactly. positive. Cost-benefit exactly. I'll tell you the other, mm. other cost-benefit analysis for Osborne as he's totally parading his prime ministerial ah, credentials. Right. He's, and this, look, this look Tory what I've come up with. Well, exactly. Mm. And this Tory conference, because Cameron's already pre-announced that he will leave at the end of this parliament, mm. you're going to have uh, Osborne, Boris Johnson, Theresa May going hammer and tongs. Nicky to, Morgan's Nicky already Morgan out. Sajid, 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 uh, I meanwhile, meanwhile, David Cameron, as the Sun page 2 reflects, Cam's cuts our new poll tax. Not George Osborne's t cuts, but David Cameron's cuts. And, <laughs> of course, there are those within the party. We heard that maybe David Willits was saying, are you really sure this is a good idea? Mm. Now David Davis indicating that, you know, this could really backfire on the Tory party. Well, David Davis has been very outspoken on... on well, he's n not exactly pro-Cameron. He's been very outspoken on, on a number of issues. But I think he's absolutely right about this. I, I don't know whether it's going to lead to riots but i think i think if many families throughout the country get a letter in december saying you essentially you're going to be 1500 quid worse off and these are people who are on very low incomes and who do work that is is going to be a horrible a horrible christmas present and i think it will backfire on the tories i don't think it will be enough to lose them the next election probably although that's a very long time ahead but i think it's a major mistake of theirs and i also think it's just unfair seriously unfair do you think it'll persuade David Cam to rethink? You've just written a book about mindsets and positions taken. A very taken. good book. Maybe a very good book. Yeah. Stop it, you two. No, it's but Black Thank you. Thinking. It's, <laughs> it's an important thing that you know this. This um, should we say. Uh, box thinking that you get into a box and you can't get out of it. Yeah, I think this that's is the, this is what we're going to do. Come what may. Yeah, I think that is a, a major danger fueled by co confirmation bias and cognitive dissonance. I mean, I think in this particular case, he has definitely laid his cards on the table today yeah. on the Marshall. Mm -hmm. He said there's going to be no turning back. And I'm with Christina. 
I think in electoral terms this is going to be disadvantageous, but I also think it's the wrong thing to do. Mm. The poverty that will accrue because of this, and he's trying to say that, well, the minimum wage is going up to mm. the living wage and that will counterbalance it. The Institute for Fiscal Studies, independent, yes. saying that's arithmetically inconceivable. I think this is a terrible And mistake. this government has been all about saying working we are families. on the side of working yeah. families. Yeah.